Hey yo, what's up? Maja here, and welcome back to another Thursday night feature. So tonight we will be featuring the final 10 contestants of Girls Reverse. So if you may or may not know, I have been following Girls Reverse on my Patreon, uh, with episodes coming out every Monday. And, well, we've reached the finals. And so the final 10 contestants have been divided into two groups. Uh, five performing one song, five performing another. And as far as I know, they've already broadcasted the final episode, but there are no subtitles yet, so I'm still waiting for a translation. But the final group hasn't been revealed yet. I, um, from what I can tell, from what I can tell, they will be revealing the final group this coming Monday on March 6th. So we are going to be eagerly awaiting that. Anyways, uh, let's get right to what we're going to be checking out this evening, which are the songs for the finals of Girls Reavers. We are going to start things off with Like Destiny, performed by uh, Rose, Ruby, Sorite, Sera, and Zaru. So, here we go, I guess. Let's check it out. Ooh. Sounds very magical right away. Ooh. Has a good beat as well. Is that Zaru? Okay. Their voices sound so good. It's kind of Peter Pan like. I like them starting off with the low register going into the chorus. And they're going up. Nice. Is that a Poki? A Poki? I don't know how you pronounce that. Yeah, I, I, you can definitely tell which voices are it. the mixing of the song can't quite describe it though <laughs> trying to find the words right now Are they Mary Poppins now? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. The high note. I love the way the high note contrasted against the low entry into the chorus.
That really was magical. I think they 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 did reference those uh those things like 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 what I mentioned earlier like Peter Pan, Mary Poppins. There might have been a bunch of other references that I didn't get, but I was mostly concentrating on the song. And how do I describe the song though? It's It's like Hmm. Slow rock is not it. Easy rock is not it. Mellow rock is not it. It's the type of rock that... Has this just like feel good jam vibes to it. And... Wow, that that was just an amazing song. Like I, like in the show in, in Girls Reverse, I only heard a snippet of it so far when they previewed it. I think it was in episode eight, seven, or uh, yeah, around eight, episode eight. Uh, I did not expect this. This is way better than I ever imagined. And like everything sounded so good, especially the the last part. Right? Uh like I mentioned before the like going into the chorus, they take these low notes. And then in the last part, they enter actually I think they entered a bit lower than the first chorus. But then you got this these high notes from Sarah and like <sighs> the range was uh, really emphasized and it, it it just sounded amazing. That was a wonderful uh wonderful performance here by Group Destiny. Wow, wow, wow. Just, it felt like pure magic. Anyways. I'm still kind of basking in the, in the afterglow of that MV, but we still have another one to check out. Um, I'm not quite sure of the translation of this, but it's, I think it's entitled like Time Burns Me and Brings Me Back to You, or Takes Me Back to You, and performing in this MV are Gypsin Hui, uh, Ke Wang, Kim Serena, Muno, and Rian. And I ha I actually have great expectations for this song because, well, three of my favorites are here. So let's just get right into it and check out uh, group time with, let me just double check the translation. Time burns me and takes me to you okay that's probably not a an accurate translation uh but we'll go with it so here we go okay this has a faster beat to it okay they're starting off in the forest This goes a bit lighter than the other song. Hmm. Have a comment? It's 
building up the excitement. We all, it is a Pocky. A Pocky? <laughs> This really gives you a, a great feeling of excitement. And here we are adventuring up across the, s the stars. These shots just wow. Gibson who is Stomper uh, I really love her vocal quality Okay Nice scale up there from Rian. Wow. Another amazing track. Okay, so that was uh, Time Burns and Takes Me to You. I really think I thought I saw another translation of that uh, in the episodes of Girls Reverse, but yeah. Uh, this song had a faster beat, faster rhythm, and so you get more of this feeling of hype and excitement. And yeah, it just feels like it's taking you on an adventure, uh, which we kind of did in the MV, like with the train uh, going to outer space, flying alongside the comet. Um, I'm not sure if like they went to another world or back to Earth, but uh, probably back to Earth because we saw our moon, right? But the moon had this ring around it. We have this ethereal tree thing. But yeah, uh, amazing performance again in this one. And really, like, I really like Gibson Hui's vocal quality. He just has, like, a, this, this ringing in her voice, in her vocal tones that. Just adds this extra layer of musical quality to her lines. Then I also love the the high note with Rian at the end, right? The the leveling high note. Uh, she went up three times, yeah. And yeah, this this sounded really really good. However, <laughs> for some reason, I'm actually f favoring Destiny 
just a little bit more. I don't know, probably because like I was kind of anticipating that I would like this uh, time song. Uh, I'm just gonna be referring to the songs as Time and Destiny from here on out. That's kind of their code names. Um, in the in Girls Reverse, uh, for reference, Destiny was the first song that he listened to. Time is the second song. I was expecting I would like Time already, like when I first heard the snippet of it in Girls Reverse. And probably, you know, uh, having that expectation, then hearing it now, it just, like, matches my expectation. Like, it delivered what I was expecting of it, and, it, and that's great. But the Destiny song, like, uh, when I first heard the snippet of Destiny back in Girls Reverse, I kind of liked it, but I thought I would enjoy it time more. But now, after listening to like Destiny, it just felt a little bit more, a little bit more magical to me. Probably because it had a slightly slower pace, and so I was able to savor it a bit more uh, with this uh, time song. Uh, kinda had a faster beat and uh, it's more about journeying through rather than uh, stopping to see the sights. But in like Destiny, we were just hanging around enjoying quite a bit. I didn't expect that. But you know, uh, it's probably just that gap in expectations that's making me favor like Destiny a bit more right now. Because like, it's a nice surprise, you know, if something exceeds your expectations. So that's it's giving it that effect right now. Although, objectively speaking, I think going forward, I'm gonna like both so both songs equally. But yeah, <laughs> like Destiny really uh, exceeded what I was expecting from it. Anyways, uh, we're going to be tuning in for the release of the final five. Those who would become the members of the group that will form from Girls Reavers. Uh... It will be announced this coming Monday, March 6th. I don't know what time yet. I'm going to try to find out. I don't know what uh, exactly will happen <laughs> or how I will tune in, but we'll see. Yeah, because I'm if there's going to be a, like a live results show, I'm gonna try to catch that live because I, I probably won't be able to bear uh, avoiding any spoilers about who the final group is going to be in Girls Reverse. So yeah. Right now, uh, the candidates that I prefer, this is really preference again. To be in the final five, just my, uh, like my bias leanings right now would be still the same three that I've been mentioning throughout my reaction series on Patreon. Uh, that would be Rien, Muno, and Gibson Hui. And now, uh, for the other two, it can actually be. It can actually be anyone, and I would be happy with it. Although, objectively speaking, I have a feeling that Sorite might make the final group. 
As for the fifth slot, uh, I, like I said, I'm I'm gonna be happy with anyone. It could be Kuang, it could be Kim Serena, it could be Rose, it could be Sarah. <laughs> So many great contestants on this show. But I will be really, really happy if my three uh my three favored picks <laughs> will get into the uh final group of five. We'll see. We'll see on Monday. So that's it for my reaction to the two finale songs of Girls Reavers, uh, which is Like Destiny, performed by Rose, Ruby, Sorite, Sarah, and... Sorry, I'm blanking. Rose, Ruby, Sorite, Sarah, and Zaru. And then we had Time Burns Me and Takes Me to You, performed by Gypsum Hui, Kuang, Kim Serena, Muno, and Rian. Two wonderful songs, definitely gonna make my daily playlist, and I think both of them are gonna make it onto my jamming playlist. So yeah, uh, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free, including my reactions to Girls Reverse. So, uh, don't be afraid to check it out. Anyways, uh, there's just some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as reactions to K-drama, uh, early access to my reaction videos, and priority when it comes to recommendations uh, but don't worry too much about that like I said most of the stuff on my patreon is available for free so go ahead and check it out the link to my patreon is in the description down below anyways don't uh, anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this amazing entrancing journey with Girls Reavers and until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now